Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be leaving Earth and going relatively close to our planet and taking a look at some of the most incredible discoveries from the Gaia telescope, also known as the uh, Gaia mission, deployed by a European Space Agency back in 2013. The most recent discovery and data analysis provided us with over 13,000 white dwarfs that we found very close to our Earth and today we're going to briefly discuss this. Welcome to What The Math. So back in 2013, uh, ESA launched uh, essentially a mission, a telescope known as the Gaia mission. This particular mission uh, was responsible for looking for various things around um, our planet or relatively close to our solar system, that is. And it, it was trying to basically create a very precise 3D space catalog um, with pretty much over a billion objects. And so far, it's been doing a great job. By 2020, we expected to find a lot more things and a lot uh, more interesting discoveries. But the idea is to actually have the entire galaxy sort of mapped out so that you can see pretty much most of the stars and most importantly objects really really close to our solar system. But on April of 2018, the Gaia mission released this really awesome discovery. Uh, they found out that within about 100 parsecs or 326 light years away from our planet, which is, well, okay let me show you how far, how far away it is first, it is basically a distance from the sun, which is right here, to, let's move to uh, this particular distance, to about this, this much, there we go. So this is the distance of about 100 parsecs. And in this particular region, we've discovered 13,928 white dwarfs. Now, that is a ridiculous amount of white dwarfs. Um, previously, we've only discovered about 100 or so, or maybe just over 100, and I guess the most famous one is actually right here. It's very, very close to us. It's called Sirius B. I misspelled it. It's right here. Um, Sirius B is uh, only a few light years away from us, and it is one of the biggest uh, white dwarfs we've discovered. But white dwarfs are generally speaking are hard to find because well, our sun will become one one day as well, but they're not very bright. And as a matter of fact, the more massive they are, the less bright they are. So once you move away far enough, a few light years away, you won't really be able to see it, especially if it's by itself. And Gaia mission was able to discover uh, at least 56% of these white worlds completely by themselves. Now, I actually wanted to see how Space Engine actually detects these. So we're gonna go back to Earth for a second and try to find as many white dwarfs as we can um, around our own solar system. So we're gonna go into, where is it? This, and filter settings. And now we're going to choose white dwarf and change the distance to 326 light years. And let's just see what we can actually discover here. So it's going to take a few seconds to try to analyze the data. And uh, look at that, already in thousands. Now, so basically Space Engine is relatively realistic in that sense. Okay, it found about 7,000. Um, it's off by about, uh, I guess, 50%. It should be double that. And uh, that's basically uh, the ones we've found as of 2018, but there is a chance we might discover even more. And this is a lot of stars when you really think about it. And not only that, but white dwarfs are usually formed by, uh, well, normally they come from objects similar to our own sun. Uh, once they basically get really old, they eventually turn into these remains called white dwarfs. And uh, this is one of them called one Ma uh, man and star. And here, we even have some planets around it that you can kind of explore and take a look at. One of them is even kind of warm. This planet right here. Uh, and so, interestingly, these white dwarfs, are, even though they're so difficult to see, uh, are really, really numerous. There's tons of them. And we think that they form 
well, several ways. One of the ways is by uh, essentially a sun or a star uh, getting really old and releasing its outer shell and turning into white dwarf. Another way, though, is actually for uh, an object to collide with another object and turn into white dwarf, specifically two red dwarfs or something else that's uh, not as massive as a, um, as a star, possibly even several uh, brown dwarfs could actually create a white dwarf. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to see. So right now I don't see anything anymore, even though I'm only about three light years away from this. And because we were able to discover so many uh, new stars in, in our region, or basically in our solar neighborhood, this also suggests that we might be able to find a lot more planets as well, because a lot of these white dwarfs, especially if they were similar to our sun, may actually possess planets, and some of them might even be, uh, well, either habitable or were habitable. So there might be some really interesting mysteries to discover around them. But for now though, that's actually kind of all we know about them because it is a relatively recent discovery. So hopefully in the next year or so, we'll be able to not just discover more of these unusual stars, but also some unusual objects around them. And this is actually where it's going to get really exciting because Gaia mission is very, very sensitive and very, very accurate and so, uh, you know, within the next two years, we might be, be discovering some incredible, incredible stars, planets, and objects like planemos that we might have not even known existed in our vicinity. In other words, we might get a lot more neighbors that we didn't know were there. Other than that, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully you learned something from it and come back tomorrow to learn a little bit more about White Wars and why uh, this new discovery might actually, um, well, cause a little bit of concern to the future of our sun and our earth because they do have a tendency to go supernova we're gonna talk about this tomorrow so do come back and subscribe if you still haven't i'll see you guys tomorrow space out and as always bye bye